In this line of work, you either fall into one of two categories. You're either a UI UX designer or you're a front-end developer. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you four key reasons if you're a UI UX designer as to why I believe you should learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's get started. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy. Reason number one, context. You're able to gain a full picture, a full understanding of the process as a UI UX designer, if you understand, at least at a basic level, how your design is integrated with the necessary HTML markup and the CSS and any necessary JavaScript, if you've integrated any type of interactions and prototyping. So imagine just trying to take a design like this and create it and make it a working reality in the browser if you were a designer who understood code, perhaps you wouldn't be making some of these really bad decisions and making the life of the front end developer a freaking nightmare. So having an understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript will definitely make you a better designer and it will influence your decisions when you're working in apps like Figma. Reason number two, earning potential. So this sort of goes without saying, but the more skills you have, the more attractive you are as a potential employer or as a freelancer and the more money you're going to make. Now, of course, this is within reason. You can't simply put the fact that you know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript simply because you watched a few tutorials. You really have to put in the time, months upon months upon months upon months of work, a bunch of different projects so that you could truly understand the process. But once you get to that point, you're proficient in both the UI UX design and HTML and CSS, it can only broaden your horizons in terms of your income earning potential. Number three, fulfillment. Now for me personally, and I know perhaps others you know, may not feel the same way, but I get excited when I think about the prospect of a new project that I get to handle the UI UX design and the front end development process. For me, it's exciting to be able to take something that I create from scratch in Figma and then make it a working reality in the browser, especially if there's interactivity and animations worked into it. Being able to have the confidence in knowing that you can take care of the whole process, it just makes my life as a UI UX designer and front end developer more enjoyable. It's something that actually gets me excited. And so if you're somebody who loves to tinker and loves to learn new things, definitely take on HTML, CSS and JavaScript as well. Now, reason number four is it can actually save you time. So hear me out. Let's say for instance, you're working with a front end developer and you have a project that's live with a client. Well, the client needs to update something. And so they're asking you to update something as the UI UX designer, but this update requires code. All right. Well, what if your front end developer, whoever you've contracted out for this portion of the gig, what if they're gone? What if they're a slacker? What if they don't respond quickly enough? Well, your hands are tied because you don't understand HTML and CSS and JavaScript. So if you had that understanding, of course, you don't have to rely on somebody else to handle this for you, especially when you're working on a team environment and you're working with clients who get really pissed off. So in the end, here's what I think the process of learning UI UX design and front end development should look like. In the beginning, if your sole intention or your goal is primarily to become a UI UX designer, that is what you should focus on, UI UX. So that means understanding how to work in apps like Figma I, or Penpot and understanding all of the fundamentals that go into UI UX design and you really should just focus on that. But then once you're really solidified in your UI UX journey, then I think it really makes sense to start dabbling in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first you need to tackle HTML. CSS is nothing without your HTML markup. So understanding the various elements and the tags and the attributes is really important. And then second to that would be CSS. All right, once you have your HTML markup, you can then begin to style it and you can then be, begin to start translating your designs from apps like Figma that you create into working realities that are responsive in the browser. Now, after you get that part done, HTML and CSS, and you could do it responsively, then it becomes a matter of working in interaction. 
all right, because our designs typically aren't static. We have different interactions, we have animations we wanna work in. So that also lends itself to CSS animations and transitions, but also JavaScript. So JavaScript is a whole entire ecosystem that allows you to do many different things in the back end and the front end. But as a UI UX designer, I don't think you have to worry about JavaScript that connects to databases in the back end. What I think you really need to focus on is the DOM manipulation or the document object model manipulation. And that simply means interactivity in the front end. So when the mouse does something, if the user clicks on something, if they hover over something, then you can have and add interactivity in your apps. So that's how I think the process should work. If you are a UI UX designer and that's what you wanna be, that's great, you can make a living doing just that, but if you really wanna broaden your horizons and make yourself, you know, set yourself up to be the best you can be in terms of a UI UX designer, at the very least, you have to understand basic HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript. All right, everybody, if you agree with me or if you disagree, let me know in the comments. Give me your points if you think you, uh, if you think I'm completely off base here and I'll be interested to read them and respond. I will see you all very soon. Make sure to check out designcourse.com and all right, I'll stop ranting. Goodbye.